Ninian, stop. Where are you going? I, I'm gonna help. No, you're not. You're still too weak. But I mere, merely wish to help Lord Elwood, even if it's just a little. I stole his father's life from him. I know this. We'll never make it up for it. Nils, please. I understand. Give me your hand. Nils? Give you some of my power. Just get... You'll just get in the way if you go out like this. Nils, I'm sorry. You. That should do it. Help them for me. Thank you. Lord Elwood. Ninian, you shouldn't be here. Please allow me to help. Help, I have no intention of making you fight. I'm no mere dancer. My dances, they will help you. Like that. Now you have Ninian's grace, maybe. This... Wrapping... Wrapped in some sort of energy. I use Ninian's gr... N Ninian's grace and dance for you, Lord Elwood. Will last a short while, but... While it does, you are protected. Please allow me to remain by at your side. Of course, if you make... If it makes you feel better. Let us rejoin the battle and do not leave my side. Okay. Chris, please tell me what you want me to do. I cannot fight, but I can aid with my dances. I ask for your understanding and assistance. I can't believe Baden's under attack. If only Fargus were here. I'd say we've got something here for you. You can use to buy some time. This light ruin, it'll block the enemy's advance. Only thing that'll stop allies too, so watch your step. Nice. All the noise in the middle of the night. But a fight? Are you going to do something? Really? Then here, take this. Should aid you. To restore stuff. It'll wake you from sleep and cure poison. Basically, it'll cure what's wrong. Bring you back to normal. Now I'm tired. I can't, why can't you people fight at a decent hour? Got Ninian's Grace, okay, great. Buy some iron axes here. So, my favorite part about this particular level is that um, we have to defeat Olog, Oleg. Um, and once you defeat him, mission's over. And much like the other missions where there's a guy on the board, I believe he will come after us. Um, sort of like a 50-50 on that. Uh, I know that, uh, what's his face? Utog, um, or whatever that, um, powered up bow rider was. Uh, he did not advance on us. However, uh, in other missions like this, we have had guys advance on us. Uh, so we'll have to keep our eyeballs peeled for the boss as he will make our day bad. And as I complained about in the previous episode, this episode, there's a good chance Boss is rolling around with some combination of a silver weapon, a critical weapon like a killer axe or killer lance or killer sword, or he's got some combination of a um, range and devastating uh, direct damage attack. Depending on what kind of boss he is, could be a uh, warrior which means he would wield both um, he'd wield both axes and bows or he could be a hero which wields uh, axes and swords 
Obviously, we fought a bow, last up bow user. He's bow and swords. Um, I'm not expecting to run into any plast up flying units uh, at this time, but uh, we may start running into some. Uh, well, I don't think we'll run to a bishop, but I see there are a lot of priests running around, so there's a chance we will run into a bishop. This is another reason I think they added the um, the monk class to the game was so that they could have enemy monk units coming at you uh, with light magic whereas in problem six they would have to be bishops uh, which is the glassed up version of either a healer uh, or a monk oh Lowen I never expected to use you but for some reason you've wormed your way into my heart I'm also told he's really good when you combine him with um, Rebecca, which I'm not using on this run, unfortunately, which is weird because I usually use Rebecca. But I decided to use characters I haven't used much before, uh, minus Canis. Uh, I like Canis, he's pretty awesome. So I am using him uh, along with Raven. So I'm like 50, maybe I'm more like 50-50. I swapped Rebecca for Will. I swapped, um... I swapped Urk for, um, Lucius. But aside from that, I'm not really doing too much. I'm told that if you actually <coughs> put the effort into um, Wrath, he's actually the best of the three archers. Like, he's better than Will or Rebecca, and he starts at a decent level, so I think that helps his cause, but I don't know. Will and Rebecca both have this thing where they start out really weak, but they get decently strong, so I don't know. Ooh, but then again, I haven't, I haven't run into Wrath yet, so I can't exactly level him up if he's not in my party yet. So that's a poison item. I don't use poison items because they're basically worthless in this game. Uh, because you know you would expect. You know, I'll show you. Bartre is going to take one damage from the poison weapon. Which means that in 21 turns he'll be dead. But wait, poison doesn't last that long. It only lasts five turns. So what's the point? You know? Give me a poison weapon that does five damage every turn. That's dangerous. That's... You know, hurry up and get an antidote. Or hurry up and heal your unit. So that they don't die. I do need to start getting my units to the point where they are classing up. So... Ideally, we want to have them... Um, giant, that's a, that's a powered up version of the light magic that this is another sort of obnoxious thing about about these Fire Emblem games is because magic is kind of kind of broken, kind of not. Uh, they don't give you they give you access to your most powerful spells, but they're very very limited. Uh, like Canis is, uh, he'll have access he has access to Luna right now, because I pulled it out of one of the treasure chests, uh, and I also got a Nosferatu, which is pretty good. But 
you know, we're not going to run into a more powerful Canis spell until we get near the end of the game, you know? And, you know, the same thing can be said uh, for, you know, uh, Anima Magic. Yeah, they give you access, they give you better access than, than, and here's the white magic stuff. The point I was trying to get at was, you know, they'll give you access to fire and thunder for the anima magic, but you're not going to run into some of the more powerful anima ma magic spells till the end of the game, and they're going to be sort of limited as to who can use them. Um, this is always a bit of a risk, uh, but usually a good way to tell if you're going to survive is the lower value the gold that you're wagering, the more likely you are to survive. So that actual first one for 800 and whatever, 830, 870 gold uh, was the best choice I had so far. 740 is good, so we'll drop in here. So, I mean, you'll very much see, like, there's no guarantee that I'll win this one, but uh, there's a much better chance that, as you can see, with Lucius hitting at a 100% chance and doubling, of course, uh, that he's going to be able to do this. Uh, but that's not something you initially know going into the into the um, call. See him as if they're A, going to double, B, you know, who are you fighting? And, you know, there's a chance that you run in, particularly once you level up, that you run into a Swordmaster and it ends your life because they have increased critical stats. That's also the other risk, is you can still be attacked by these guys, um, but really the physical ones are the only one I'm really concerned about because of their resistance, obviously. They're going to go after the person with the less resistance. So yeah, we're going to wipe out all these monks that are walking around. That Troubadour needs to do a better job. I need her to get some uh, attack magic, that is. Her, I don't care about. Speed, skill, or uh, speed, uh, and then any amount of resistance or defense you're willing to give me. Yeah, he's getting near level up here. I'm also going to have to keep an eye on enemies as we go through here, because there's going to be items that we're going to have to steal uh, off of them. Otherwise, we're going to miss out on class-up items or rare weapons or, you know, stuff like that. I don't care about steel weapons. I don't care about anything in here either. As soon as I, sooner I can get the every, oh, my guys to class up, the better. Well, that goes kind of without saying, but I spent so much of this game trying to make sure that everybody's leveling up more or less equally uh, because the game also rates you on how fast you do it and how efficient you are with your experience point. Um, but once they hit... Um, class up level, they're just going to sort of plow through the rest of, uh, not really plow through the rest of their levels, but as low as they, after they class up, they'll take less, they'll get less experience off the of lower level guys, but they will have increased base statistics, which will make them 
a lot more durable regardless of if they have done a good job leveling up or not. we get closer to the right side is I'm going to start um, using some of my torches to take a really good look at what's there because uh, I don't want to run into a you know I don't want to send a an axe user into the middle of a, uh, a sword master or you know send a, um, a cavalier into a guy who's got you know, like Horse Reaver. Plus, everybody's gotta get healed! Look all. Need special items, change classes, items differ from different units too. Cavalier Knights need Nightcrest. Folks skilled in magic. Staves need Guiding Rings. And Weaven Riders and Pegasus Knights need Elysian Whips. You can have it, don't be shy now. Not like I'll ever be able to use it. Now, if I were a cute peg little Pegasus Knight, I'd use it in an instant. We will not be using our Legion Whip right away. Not till I get my frickin' uh, Pegasus Knight up to 20. It'll be a bit. Um, she's at, I think, 14 right now. Hey, wasn't that there a Wound Rider that flew by a while back? I know what Burn Weapon Riders are doing here. We under attack? Come on, do something. I heard the Weapon Riders are fast and really tough. Sure, arrows and magic can bring them down, but I'll cause them trouble too. The Weapon Slayer, take care of them. Okay. That weapon is good against both Dragon Knights as well as Dragons. We won't be running into dragons in this game. At least in any uh, amount that matters. Fire Emblem 6, you run into a whole bunch of them, so... I'm gonna have to take a look at... at, uh, at uh, Raven after this. I think he... I think he hit max speed or skill there. so dirty in this game because the game incentivizes you to um, move your guys as fast as possible to get a better tactician rating and at the same time you can't see what you're running into so you're sort of throwing yourself into the unknown Yeah, he's got max speed now. Ridiculous. I'm trying to see who needs the levels still. Obviously, I gotta bring these guys up, but... Tink. That's a no damage. Oh... Ideally, I shouldn't be using dark magic against light magic, but despite the fact that I'm at a disadvantage, Cadence is just so boss, it doesn't matter. That was a shitty level up, though. It was a shit level up. I'm greedy. Like I said before, I'm greedy. I want, like, three or four stats every time I level up. Preferably, you know, 
three including HP, or four including HP, three without HP. At least until you get to a certain point where it's like, he was beautiful beyond words. Lovely fairy searching for her lord. I wonder why she's a knight. Same night in me, a dream of a dream. Ah, I was just thinking out loud. You didn't hear any of that, did you? Wah! Doesn't tell anyone. Promise me you won't tell. But I know who that is. But, uh, makes it sort of sound like he's talking about one of your Pegasus knights. He is not. He's talking about, uh, a different character that we're going to be running into in a moment. There's your Dragon Knight. So he, I'm in range of him now, unfortunately. As well as that stupid archer, so that's gonna make my life not great. Here comes the dragon. Some more dragons. Healed. He's officially healed. Switch out the flux there. At least in my good shit on my on baby enemies. Fix that right now. I can use flux. Not sure what's hidden down there, but we're gonna find out, aren't we? I'm not sending mages out to... yeah. Got a hero's crest. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck me. I need to steal that off of him and I don't have... I don't have my... Oh, boy. It ends here. Your journey is over. Only oblivion awaits. Oh. up. Realize that now. 
could have stolen the um, hero's crest off of him. I didn't see that when I was playing this originally. So I'm noting that now, but I'm I'm not paying attention, and I missed the the knight's crest that clearly right there on him that I could easily steal off of him just by using leg alt who's standing literally right there. Press that steal button, Chris. Didn't see it. Isn't that annoying. Fucking obnoxious. You see, Candice can just blow him to, to smithereens. In defeat, there is only death. Arrgh. Give me a little smish. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, are you okay? Hmm. Don't worry, you. Do not have to push yourself so. We have time for morning when this is all finished. For now, in my father's name, I will do everything I can to stop Nurgle and protect our lands. I see. What do you have in mind? We need to meet Marquis Ostia. My brother? After all we've learned, we cannot tell him, can we? Sure, I guess. Hector? That odd expression. Hector doesn't want to meet Lord Uther. He's been lax in contacting him and is afraid to face him, right? But, and how do you expect me to send any, him any messages? When we're traipsing about the Isle like merchants on holiday. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. Come here! Hey, they're both in good spirits. A lot better than giving in to despair, I suppose. Oh, no, no, you're feeling better. Marcus, I'm fine. I know I worry you. Uh, Lord Albert, my own discretion, I've sent a message to Lady Oranlor. I see. Thank you, Marcus. That is well done. I thought she should know as soon as possible. The Marquis's final moments were so very noble. Lord Albert, Commander Marcus. Is that you, Isidore? Finally found you. I'm glad you're well. Thor, what are you doing here? Don't tell me something happened to my mother. No, El Lady Eleanor's. Well, do not worry. When word of Lord Albert's death reached her yesterday, he said not a word. He merely gave her full attention to the messenger. Mother. Then she issued me orders without hesitation. Command I delivered this sword to Lord Elwood and remain at his side. But the castle defenses will be shorthanded. Lord Elwood, please understand your mother's feelings. Not coming home, all your mother can do now is pray for your continued safety. Obey your father's dying wish. The message to you, I have delivered it. Why not petition Ostia for reinforcements to help board Cassie Ferre? Good idea. I guess it would ease my mother's fear and bow to her wishes. It is that thinking that makes you Lord Elwood. Our battles are like nothing you've even prepared for. Are you ready to face them? Yes. I will... S Serve them with my very life. Chris, something wrong? Oh, you were worried about me. I apologize for all the trouble. Fine now. I have my friends to lean on. Hector, Lindis, and you, Chris. Thanks to all of you, I'm getting stronger. Coming to believe that together we can overcome anything. Friendship. Sonia. Lamas. Lemistella? You called Lord Nargo? My wound needs time. It's a deep cut, and my strength is not what it was. The man who did this to me is dead. I'd like his son's death as compensation. Sonia, you will use Brandan to move the Black Fang. I do not need m mere underlings now. I need the Four Fangs. Leave it to me. I have them bowing their heads to you, my lord. I'm Estelle. I want you to gather me quintessence. For this injury to hell, I will need much. You are the strongest of all my morphs. Tell all who bear signs of great power, as you will. We're going to cut the episode here, and when we come back, we're going to be doing... 
can ship on. Till then, I hope you guys have a good one.